Hello, this is Renee from uh, Ideal Protein in Las Gatos, California, and I'm just here to start our initial um, Wednesday live broadcasting. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. I had a little technical difficulties, but anyway. So um, what I wanted to address today is just a few points on how to be the most successful on the Ideal Protein Protocol. So um, just a few tips. Uh, the first tip is remember that this is a 100% protocol. So um, having one bite, lick, or taste, which I call BLTs, um, will send you out of ketosis and will cause you to get no results. So um, 100% protocol, when you commit to the program, make sure you're doing it at a time that works for you. So having one glass of wine doesn't work. Um, alcohol, uh, those ketones are processed immediately through the liver. It can end up causing you to um, be in a bad place, maybe even black out or end up at the hospital. So it's not about just, you know, wine not having four carbs in it um, or just having four carbs in it, but it's really about not having alcohol because it doesn't process properly when you are in a ketogenic state, you get drunk super fast. So um, don't deviate with those things. Um, you know, if the salad comes with dressing on it, send the salad back and just ask for a plain salad and some olive oil on the side. Um, if, if things come with sauces on them, um, you know, make sure when you're ordering at a restaurant, you're ordering very specifically. You're ordering um, using no dairy. I always suggest just saying that you are allergic to dairy because a lot of times when you say no butter, they don't listen. Um, but if you say you're allergic, then they, you know, really take the hint and don't give you any butter. Um, uh, asking for things grilled, um, making sure there's no carbohydrates on your plate. Um, I always order, you know, um, I would like grilled fish, no sauce, please. I would like no carbohydrates on my plate. Could you give me extra green vegetables? I'll take my salad, no dressing, please. Just bring me some olive oil. And it's really simple. You get used to ordering that way. And it's actually really tasty and natural flavored. So those are my suggestions. You know, this is not a protocol where you can do 98%. So when you do it 100%, you get 100% results. When you do it 98%, you get zero results. And that's really frustrating after you've spent 98% of your week um, being perfect. So um, that's tip number one. Tip number two is log your daily food journal. We like to use an application called My Fitness Pal. Um, it has all the ideal protein foods in it, and you can um, just, you know, do a search where, you know, ideal protein chocolate drink mix, and it will come up, it will give you all of your carbs, your fats, your proteins, and um, the way to set that up for a typical dieter, someone that is under um, 200 pounds and wanting to lose weight is going to be for a maximum of 1000 calories, go into your goals and settings, set 1000 calories, and then set your carbs at 20%, your fats at 20%, and your proteins will then automatically become 60%. And you know what I tell a lot of my clients is, is you may not eat all 60% of those proteins, but what we really want you to watch is the carbs and the fats, making sure that they are not more than 20%. When it comes to carbs, I like to suggest doing 15 carbs from the ideal protein product. So carbs are a net. That means carbs minus fiber, and that gives you your net uh, carbohydrates. So 15 carbs are from the ideal protein product, and 20 carbohydrates are from your four cups of green vegetables that you are making yourself on our program. Um, so journaling, uh, my dieters that journal all the time, they know exactly when they are in the sweet spot of about 850 to 900 calories a day. They're doing about 35 grams of carbohydrates, not more than 20% fats, and they get maximum results somewhere between one and a half to three pounds of fat every single week. And we're preserving the lean mass. So that is, you know, the essential part of the ideal protein protocol. So um, 
That's my suggestion for journaling. My dieters that journal lose 20% faster and 20% more weight. They stay on track. They're also super successful in maintenance because they've already developed that habit. And in maintenance, we're going to obviously change the macros a little bit. We're going to add some more calories and we're going to, um, you know, each person is different based on your metabolic rate. So we can talk about that when we talk about maintenance. Um, every day you should be getting the ideal protein daily video. It's like, you know, talking to your coach every single morning. Listen to it when you are headed to work. Listen to it when you're putting your makeup on, when you're having your cup of coffee. Um, it really does follow you all the way along your path. It teaches you about ketosis, about why ideal protein works, about why you're feeling what you're feeling today. Sometimes it's emotions, sometimes it's physical. Um, so uh, watching that video every single day, using the tools that we give you, that's the things that are going to make you the most successful. Um, don't weigh in daily on your own schedule and freak yourself out. I have some clients that will weigh three times a day. Guess what? You're going to get three different answers. Um, and the bottom line is, is your scale cannot tell you what my scale tells you. So our scale is very specific. It's 98% accurate. It's the in-body 520 scale. Um, it gives us your body weight, your lean mass, your body fat. We know exactly what's going on on a weekly basis, and we can adjust your proteins. We can adjust um, the carbohydrates just based on what's going on. So if you don't log your food diary, we can't help you with adjusting the foods that you are having each day. So those are little elements that go together. So don't get on your scale. Just trust the process. It is a medically and scientifically derived protocol. It works for a reason. Okay, um, last but not least, don't be disappointed on a weekly basis if you don't see exactly the number that you want to see. Don't have a number in mind. Don't look at other Facebook groups and think, oh, my God, that person lost five pounds or seven pounds. Chances are if someone's losing five or seven pounds in one week, it's because they have a lot to lose. And, you know, some people have medications they're taking. Some people have thyroid issues blood pressure issues. We all have different things that are going on in our bodies. Hormones as we become in mari many yeah, perimenopause or menopause, or we're just on our period, things show up differently. So drink your water, take your supplements. Um, every, our program works together for a reason. Those supplements are there to integrate and to help your body to work properly and to lose weight. When you eat every three to three and a half hours, you are metabolizing your protein over a, a period of time where your body feels comfortable, it burns its own fat and uses fat for a resource because the protein is taking care of everything else and um, you will do great. So those are all my tips for today. Um, I will be uh, live on Wednesdays at one o'clock. If you have questions, please um, participate. Let me know your questions. You can send them to me in advance if you like. And I look forward um, to seeing you next week.